Leo, hello, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from Spirit that truly helps all of us empaths thrive here. His information is down below. But without further ado, Leo, 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 let's dive right into this. We have the Three of Swords, the Devil, the Tower, Four of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. Look, everything is going to work out for you. It always does. If you're going through a profound transformation, which I can see that you are by the Tower card, know that this is going to open. Uh, open up doors for healing, okay? And healing does not come from feeling good, right? Healing always comes from some certain level of pain or adversity. And in order to um, get past this, uh, that's when we we achieve the growth that we're, our souls need, right? So now it's more important than ever to just be kind to yourself, be compassionate with yourself, uh, be loving with yourself, Got, try to get yourself grounded and nurtured as, as much as possible, right? Out in nature, um, again, loving yourself and just know that anytime that you have any sort of belief or or thought uh, that keeps reoccurring um, this is in the uh, that doesn't support you this is a limiting belief and it will continue to come up unless you address it so really look at it why is this belief here why is this thought here why do I keep feeling like this why does this keep coming up because the minute you push past those beliefs is the minute that you heal and that's when you're able to overcome any um, ideologies from the past that may have been there uh, and uh, understand that again universe only gives you what you're ready for and so when we're placing in an energy or a time in our life where there is a lot of profound healing, right? There may be adversity, adversity limiting beliefs, grief, loss of any kind. Um, know that you will overcome this, okay? You will get to the other side and you will, as a matter of fact, learn how to work with this specific energy because, again, we only go through certain lessons and challenges, I should say, for those lessons. And once you go through it once, you got it. You know what I mean? Once you understand it, you got it. So just, just know that, okay? Just know everything is going to end up working out for you but at this time it's important to be very mindful of your energy because look at that here we have the ace of pentacles so the universe is validating that there are going to be rewarding outcomes from this time right now you are going to get that new level of achievement and success that you're looking for okay new beginnings new new businesses new creative ventures endeavors will flow into your life but right now it's just about following your intuition and your intuition is going to be guiding you through a time of healing okay because again our intuition always guides us to, guides us towards what what we do ne what we should be doing next to get us in alignment on our desires but our thinking mind will come in feed us all these limiting beliefs about why that is the worst thing we should possibly do and a lot of the times then that confuses us and we gravitate towards old habits or old patterns in our lives does that make sense right because the the alternative feels so unnerving the alternative feels so cha so much more challenging but it's not it's actually the path of least resistance but it just feels like that because it's new does that make sense leo so right now it's just important to go with the flow understand that there are going to be opportunities that are going to arise but you've got to be open-minded because again these opportunities i'm sensing these new beginnings are going to come in a, in a form that you're going to least expect that's why we always want to uh, try to come from an energy of, of, of feeling eager or excited for the next phase of the game or what's going to happen next what's going to happen today hmm i wonder what's going to happen today i wonder what the universe is going to bring me today you know there's always something that the universe is trying to to guide us towards and a lot of the times um even our teacher guides are really in there a lot of the time trying to um, help move us along and always know we have teacher guides okay and these guides are generally with with us for the duration of our soul and so what our teacher guides will do is maybe they'll pop a YouTube video in for you to learn something or they'll send messengers in like somebody will give you a message and you'll be like oh it's funny like I've really I've been wanting to learn that or pick that up you know what I mean there will always be some level of guidance something that you wanted to learn so if you want to uh, progress in your journey even further, you can reach out to your teacher guides and kindly ask them to give you the clarity and some insights, especially if you're needing help with something, Leo, uh, which I can see you are gonna be building towards something here with that three of pentacles. So in your, your on your journey, I should say, um, ask your teacher guides for help. And how you do this is you just take space for yourself, which means you just sit in uh, with yourself quietly. You think about the problem that it is that you're trying to overcome. You just ask for help. Teacher guides, please help. This is what I need. And then let it be, right? Thank you, thank you, thank you let it be and they will come through.
through in a form that will resonate with you. So again, if you're used to watching YouTube, then they will most likely input a YouTube video. If you're, you know, you're used to reading an article in the newspaper or a certain blog, uh, there'll be something there. You know what I mean? It'll be there. You'll, you know, don't you expect it, but you know, don't, don't expect where it's going to be. Just, just ex ex be excited for it is the best part because here we have the ace of cups of so new beginnings when it comes to, um, you know, just any matters of the heart, right? New beginnings when it comes to all matters of the heart. So here we have ace of pentacles and the ace of cups. So again, universe validating that you are going to be very, very happy once you move past this time of healing, right? And again, there's always a level of, of, um, healing in any level, in any progression that we are doing here. So remember, um, ask for help if you need it, right? Here we have the support card, right? So get support, ask for help. Remember, nurture yourself, take care of yourself. Uh, again, we are our, um, you know, we, we can really only rely on ourselves. And if we don't trust ourselves, then it is difficult to be able to trust our intuition, right? Because intuition comes from us, even though like a lot of the times our guides and angels and, and our higher self, it may sound like our voice, um, but it's, it's generally a download from the other side. And you can always tell because it's kind of said in a different style than how we talk, but it is going to still come from your voice. But again, if we don't trust ourselves, then we are not going to be able to, 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 to abide by this voice, listen to this guidance, right? And so um, check in with that. And when we nurture ourselves and when we take care of ourselves, that's when we trust ourselves because we, we love ourselves. So we trust ourselves, we're taking care of ourselves. You know what I mean? It's, it, it, it goes hand in hand. So by nurturing and taking care of ourselves that just means that we're being mindful about you know things we're doing and we're we're consciously um you we're consciously being mindful about what we're putting in our bodies, how we're treating our bodies, that sort of thing. And the universe is also validating. You do not need to know the how. Luckily, Leo, the how is not necessary. All you have to know is what you want. Set those intentions. The how is up to the universe. And again, being attached to those outcomes, um, obsessing over the details, figure, trying to figure out how it's going to work. You know, how is this possible? It's it, it, the universe is magical. This is an extraordinary place, right? We're schoolroom earth classes in session you know what I mean all you have to know is that you've got to stay grounded you've got to stay expanding and I'll tell you a, a tip it's very much more simple than it's made out to be so we have to have some sort of creativity, a creative project that we're doing, whether this is singing, dancing, creating art, painting, drawing, um, you know, music, writing poetry, creation of some kind that brings a per passion to our souls. Okay. This passion is going to be individual for each and every one of us. So find that passion in your life that you can create. Okay. Second one is tasks. We've got to cross tasks off the list. This could be something is anything that brings you purpose, fulfillment. It doesn't necessarily mean it's passionate. You don't might not necessarily be passionate about it, like going to work, right? It's fulfilling. You serve, solved a purpose, but, but you're not necessarily passionate about it. Does that make sense? Maybe dropping off mail at the post office. You know what I mean? It's a task. It's completed. Woohoo. But you know, again, wasn't super passionate. Okay. These two things and then nurturing and grounding yourself. If we can cover these three things in a day, we generally feel pretty good about ourselves. We're in a good boat. There's not too, too much more we're being asked to do. You know, it's, it's us that feels like we've got to be doing, 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 going, going, going. But if we just simply surrender to the energy of where the universe is guiding us towards, then we're always going to be okay. And again, if we have those three things covered, then we are going to be okay. And the universe is recommending time to take the lead. Now, Leo, understand that again, you're always going to be in the driver's seat and the, the, the world around us isn't going to reflect what you want. It means that things are not going to be perfect, um, for you to start your endeavors. It means you got to start the endeavors and then attract the perfect to you in a sense. You know what I mean? Like, um, we want to make sure that we are, um, being the versions of ourselves that we actually want. We want to, it means we can't wait for our circumstances to feel right before we start. There's, they're never going to feel right. I'll tell you that much. Right. So we just got to take the lead. We just got to go for it. We got to take those actions. We got to just get organized with our lives, implement changes, implement new habits, and ultimately get the best results by taking the lead. And that's, that's how we let it shine anyway, right? That is how we feel our confidence. That is how we get our we, we, we realign with our spirits and our souls as taking the lead, taking charge, right? Releasing that how, and just focusing on everything that it is that we can control. And then generally that again, 
putting something into some type of creation, uh, tasks and nurturing and taking care of ourselves. If, if we do that, simply surrender and allow our intuitions to guide us, that is how we are guided into all of our purposes, our passions, our desires, the outcomes that it is that we want most. All right, Leo, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Leo. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.